I ran my first half marathon three years ago. In this video, I'll go over the lessons I learned from that race. And am I going to run another half marathon? Three years ago, I made a seven video series on YouTube documenting my attempt to run a half marathon. I ran my first half marathon video has been one of my most popular videos. Having over 6,000 views so far, I'm practically YouTube famous. On that video, I received several comments, and one in particular was in September of 2021, asking me how I've progressed since running my half marathon three years ago. Thank you for the comment, Arrow. So in this video, I'm gonna go over lessons I learned from running my first half marathon and answering the question, am I gonna run another half or even a full marathon? First, thank you to all of that commented on the half marathon video good and bad. I particularly like the guy who referred to my teeth as looking like horse teeth. Got a good chuckle from me and I shared that comment with my friends. They laughed pretty hard. Apparently that person does have a conscience though and deleted the comment because I can no longer find it. And for the record, there's only one part of my body built like a horse. <laughs> so with that said, here's a challenge to anyone watching this video. Give me your best burn in the comments below. Keep it YouTube appropriate. But give me your best shot. I enjoy reading the burns. Okay, okay. do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. So here are some lessons I learned from running my first half marathon. With this said, I am no stud when it comes to running. I've ran one half marathon. But if you're out there wondering, debating, deciding on running a half marathon, I figured sharing some of my experiences that I went through three years ago could help you. Before I began training for a half in 2019, the most miles I attempted was a 7K in 2015. And three months prior to half marathon, I ran a 10K for practice. I actually made a video on that. I'll leave a link in the description. So I had no idea what I was getting into and I made so many mistakes. Number one was nutrition. Nutrition during the race was non-existent because I usually run on an empty stomach. Huge mistake. And my biggest regret was not understanding that during a 13.1 mile run, you have to take in calories and more liquids, especially since it was so humid on race day. Another takeaway was commitment. One of my good friends, Nate, and I joked about three years prior to 2019 how we would never run a half marathon. Well, then you go through life like a divorce, career frustrations, and you want a challenge that's in your control. And running a half is where I landed. Without question, one of the best decisions of my life was grinding through the process of running 13.1 miles. I learned so much about myself. 12 weeks of training, 3.30 a.m. alarms on a Tuesday and training while everyone is sleeping, then putting on your work boots and tackling a 10-hour day and doing it all over again two days later. Lastly, going through that grind for 12 weeks has given me confidence in other parts of my life. It changed my mindset on other activities I, I like to compete in, like golf. I learned you have to do the work, as well as my personal life and dating, which is an absolute minefield in your 40s. That's a topic for another day. And even my career. There are times I'll get up early on a work day or off my laptop on a Sunday and put in the work. So to wrap up the lessons I learned, nutrition, coming from someone that never ran that far, it's a huge mistake if you don't put time into figuring out your nutrition. The second lesson I learned is commitment. Overall, I just learned that I was capable of putting in 12 weeks of training, end up running 13.1 miles. And the only way I was able to do it was to chop on that wood every single day, every single week. And lastly, like I said, the confidence. That confidence is intertwined in so many other areas of my life. It's hard to explain. Knowing that I was able to do something that only 1% of the population has done it gives you confidence in so many ways. So for the people asking me if I'm going to run a half or a full marathon, my answer is hell yes on the half marathon. And we'll have to see about the full marathon. 26 miles. Ha! No way. One thing I took note of when I was at the starting line for my half was how thin people were around me. I'm not used to being around those type of people. I was one of the bigger dudes there. 
And when I ran my half, I was about 235 pounds and I felt every mile of that run. Body weight matters in these long distance runs. There's no doubt about that. My goal when I began training for that race was to run it in two hours and 10 minutes. I ended up running in two hours and 35 minutes. Uh, however, I do want redemption. So to wrap this up, anyone out there that's contemplating, trying to decide whether to run a half marathon, it's one of the best things I've ever done in my life. And with that said, leave me a comment down below on some video ideas. I am currently furloughed, so I might just be able to get to it. And if you want to check out my half marathon training playlist, click right there. Out. I do not feel very sexy in this tie shirt.